In this video, we are going to create a simple dashboard for our POS system. So we'll show here the sales about the QTY, the breakdown, we'll add the date range, and the simple graph of sales. So here I just created this file and then also remove some of the scripts here. We have a JavaScript or jQuery, I mean. So first thing we need to do is let's make the element to capture the top widget so uh, three columns so we'll have the sales amount the quantity and then the breakdown by product so let's refresh so now here uh, as you can see we need to add more HTML elements so let's call a class called widget container then here we'll have uh, the title or the header of the widget and then we'll have the value so let's call that one widget value so now let's refresh um, so let's try to open the console and then add our style first here so let's align them centered at a padding then for the amount or the value let's increase the size and transform it to uppercase so here let's open our custom that css or style that css file and copy the styles Let's just add the border to the widget container or the widget and then color green and maybe add radius so uh, let's change the color so here let's add the background for the body first uh, that one light gray and then also let's add the background to the cell amount um, so here we can add reuse so let's update the font size of the amount let's make it bigger and then let's make the header smaller so now let's try to copy this style and then reflect that onto our widget container class fresh as you can see it's working on uh, the widget header let's copy and paste the styles and then for the value fresh and yeah I think that's it so let's just switch the position of the value and the header and then let's try to remove the margin between the header and the value so here let's add that style so it's looking good and then here let's try to add the background color for the same amount so like green for the dollar amount so let's see here which is best um this one so let's add that background or style to the so now let's add a new class so let's call it widget sale and copy the background let's refresh as you can see we have a nice widget for the sale amount next thing we need to do is let's just copy and paste and then here let's update the header so here we'll need to have the quantity sold and then here as you can see it's now looking good next is let's try to add a background for this widget so this is quantity sold let's try to make the value or the background a yellowish so here let's add the class 
then helix reflect that background color um, let's copy this one then finally the last widget so actually let's replace the one with the number of orders so instead of the product breakdowns so let's also add the background style uh, green and then let's refresh or change the color um, maybe that one and then also we'll need to change the color of our text so it's visible or easy to see so now here let's add the style and update the value which is color white uh, this should be added here and then this one should be a color and this one should be rigid header so it's looking good so next is let's add the second row um, so here we can have the last five orders and then the remaining would be the visualization of the sales per day or yeah the graph so let's just increase I guess to 5 and set the graph to 7 so this one looks good so now let's add some styling now let's add the margin between the two rows so actually a padding and then add a border uh, let's resize the border and then here change the color um, so let's just add a class here widget main row and then let's copy the styles fresh so we have that nice border next let's also add a one so let's increase the padding and add a padding tab next thing we need to do here is this will be a table so we'll have the order number uh, We'll have the total amount, the date, then um, let's add here a dump but for that let's add that as our header and then here let's add a dummy value or dummy rows and that one so our format should be good and then let's add the class table so it looks good actually here um, we can just remove this one instead we can use dr and then th so we can get rid of the t head uh, element so we'll be directly using the dr so now what to do here is just copy and paste we have lots of data to see fresh as you can see it looks good um, next we need to do here is for the visualization part um, We'll be using a high chart, so 
go to the segmentation let's just grab this one and insert the script so let's remove the bootstrap dialog we don't need that one uh, let's refresh so uh, undefined uh, so let's copy the element okay and now here you can just add a function so let's just create a function called visualize and inside is the query to initialize or display the chart so it's fresh um, so let's call that function here can see there's an error high chart so let's move this one to the top and let's move this below so as you can see we have nice chart so let's do some cleanup um, so I just do the cleanup of the chart data uh, just pause the video so we have here daily sales and then here let's add the header so daily sales now let's add some styles to our header so let's add the font size increase the font size maybe change the, the background to that one and then let's add the padding to the left and then for the main row let's add the border and the padding and change this color so now we can add a class to our column um, so we should throw widget widget second uh, let's copy and paste that one and then next is for the header let's add a class here um header let's use header and then here let's grab the style and if it's fresh and then also let's reflect on one to our graph header so as you can see let's just copy the main row or this class so as you can see the it is reflected styles are reflected other thing is we need to add a date range so we can grab this script for the date range and then here let's just uh, grab that so let's just create a function first this will initialize the date range so now let's just try to investigate how to implement that one so basically we need a date uh, element uh, so here let's add input date type names or type date does it work Oh, huh. so let's try. Still doesn't work. Ah, uh, the range. Hmm. So here, let's just actually this should be. Let's try to add button. So now here we can add a class so it looks good so here let's add uh, primary or maybe the default or the light or maybe yeah, use the default so as you can see we can select a date range now let's just insert this one into uh, a 
adapt so we can move it to the right so let's just add a feature here later in the video in the next video we are going to replace the dummy data here with the data that we have from our database